Well, I just got back from a run and something's missing. My Fitbit. You know, we buy Fitbits with the whole hope that it'll measure our steps and bring out the best in our personal fitness. But if you're watching this video, it's likely because you realized Fitbit does not believe in being the best at creating a long-lasting product. Uh, a lot of people on the internet have complained about their Fitbits and the parts of it just falling apart mere months after purchasing it. And, you know, it's likely because Fitbit uses children who are paid very low wages to create their product, and I'm sure their bosses are not kind or understanding people implementing proper quality control procedures. Nevertheless, I find myself in the same situation. I've had a Fitbit charge HR for over a year and a half, and recently the clasp just fell off of it. Now this is a problem because the clasp is right over where the charger is at, so without it in place, it can't charge the Fitbit properly. Uh, so that's why today I'll be showing you how to repair the clasp on a Fitbit Charge HR. You'll notice the clasp has fallen off the Fitbit. The clasp covers the part where you charge the Fitbit as well as the button. Here's the clasp that fell off the Fitbit. As you can see, there's the button you'd press to see your steps. This is how small the button for the Fitbit is, and it can easily slip out of the clasp. Secure the Fitbit's band. Here I used a coaster and the smoke alarm from my apartment. Make sure that the button is appropriately in the clasp, and then secure the clasp back into the grooves of the Fitbit. I'll be using Loctite Super Glue. Whatever super glue you use, make sure it's water resistant. Remember, you're going to be sweating, dropping water, dropping Gatorade all over this thing. Gently push out and spread the super glue on the upper and lower portion of the clasp that goes horizontally across the Fitbit. You don't want to place any super glue underneath the clasp that's too close to the electronic portions of the Fitbit and could damage the Fitbit. Let the Fitbit sit and the super glue set in for at least 10 minutes. Now let's test out the Fitbit by pushing the button and we see that it's working and charging. Well, I just got done taking a shower. The Fitbit's all charged up back on my wrist. Buttons working great. So it looks like the super glue did the trick. Uh, now the test will be to see over the next few months, getting all those steps in, doing a lot of running, and seeing how the moisture affects the glue. But for now, a great temporary fix to avoid having to purchase a new Fitbit, and could be good permanently for the future. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please do like it, go ahead and subscribe, and we'll have plenty more Fix-It videos in the future. In conclusion, fit it up and fit it out.